Let's operate the right way. Let's get them to know how to run to the ball, play with dominant contact, play with Husker speed, and, and get them going. Coach, before you came here at Syracuse, you, you were getting a team ready to play Minnesota in a bowl game. Coincidentally, you opened with Minnesota. How much of a handle does that give you on just maybe what you're going to see, knowing that you've kind of already prepared for this team the last football game you're about to coach? Yeah. So, so with that, you know, I, when I took the, when I was able to take this opportunity here. You know, I did not have any game responsibilities. They had already hired Rocky over there. And if you watch the game closely, they went to a different personnel group because of them. they had a whole bunch of injuries. 
some, so schematic supplies, it was a little different because they, they put some stuff in there, but uh, it, it, it gives you a sense of maybe what they're thinking, but also, you know, they're running back only played the first half and all that stuff, so we're going to we're gonna watch it, we're going to break it down, but it's going to be our normal game plan stuff from the games that we think are, are going to be comfortable and, and provides a game plan that way. A lot of the players are talking about 1% better every day. What does that look like from your perspective as the new coordinator getting these guys ready to go? Everything. I'm talking about from myself to the assistant coaches down to the players on how we're watching film, how we're trying to get reps in, mental reps for the guys who are standing in the back. Uh, Schematics-wise, are we teaching it the right way? Are we doing too much, too little? Are guys absorbing the language? Do we need to change something? I mean, right now in camp, again, I, I talk about the operation, right? We want to make sure we are giving the guys the best chance to know what to do, know how to do it, so they can go do it on the grass, which they're getting, they're getting a chance on the grass. So we have to make sure we're right. So again, every little every little thing. And then it's it's awesome because Coach Rule, same deal. He's, he's, he's on us, offense, defense. He's, hey, why are we doing this drill? What does this look like? How we're teaching this? So again, there's a lot of moving parts. It sounds like a lot. Is there a lot to do? Yeah, a lot of ton to do, man. We want to win the games. There's a ton, to, and we got a lot of guys playing. We got a, you know, it's cool to see when you look up and you see, you know, you see Buck out there, you see Nash, and you see Blaze, you see Cam, and you see, and you, then you see guys down like AJ Rollins and 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 the Kai, and then you see Sue out there. And you're just like, wow, wave after wave. You're trying to get those guys to know what to do. And there's a there's a point in the in, in practice where a guy makes a play and he did it the right way, and he used Husker speed and he used dominant contact, and it's like. That was it, and you can see it in their face. You're like, that's what it feels like. We're trying to get everybody to that point. How do you feel about that, that back end? Tony's great. I know there's a long way to go, but just early on, is it going to be camp? Where are you going to have it? Athletic, moving, the athletic, moving guys around. You know, you got some uh, some of the old guys, Omar, Corey, uh, Malcolm, Tommy. I mean, Q, those guys. Gibb is, is doing a great job. And now you're starting to see those other guys. Eric Fields, a little bit, show up and getting up. Uh, Hunter there, uh, Dwight Brutal showing up. So again, we're trying to move guys around, see them, and they're, they're getting a lot of reps and a lot of stuff at them just to see what they can do. It seems like Tony has impressed you and, and like how he's grown since you guys got him. Is that right? Yeah, I, I got a lot of respect for a guy, again, who embraces the process and he improves. You know, that, that's what you're supposed to report is improvement, right? The pocket. And again, just like Buck, they believe in you, you got to believe in them back. And so when they do good things and, and on and off the grass, and they're a good teammate, and you see the change, and you see, hey, he was like this over here, and now he's totally like this, you want to reward that kind of stuff. So is Eric Fields playing some safety that you just said that's going to clarify that? Yeah, he's, he's everywhere. And right now he's, he's at the rover, and he's, he's, he's doing a good job. Doing a good job. In the spring, you use an example of our grass where they play where A to B on the play, you said you guys right? B to C, it's instincts to cover A to B. And then, hey, B to C, I can't coach. I'm sorry, bro. That, that, that's all the players. I was going to ask if you're seeing that as a whole. Like, do you like what you're seeing as far as that ability for defense to, to play to those start exactly how you want it with their ability to make up? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you see that a lot in the in the older guys because they see the game. You know, they know. Hey, I was supposed to be over here, but I saw the ball, so I, I took a I took a hole over here. I took my chance over here. It's it's cool to see them still have that confidence and let it loose in the in the, in the defense. Um, but again, it comes back to the moment when you see the young guys do that. The young guys be like, oh, I can do this, you know. And, uh, and we're harping on the guys for, for going fast. You know, we, 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 we had an incident where the guy was trying to be too correct versus playing fast. And so I yell at him because, hey, dude, I, I'm not worried about that right now. I just kind of just let you see you go and you play with it. I'm going to consider, I'm going to keep on saying this, Husker speed. That's the way we're going to play it. Husker speed. Full, full go. Full tilt. I'm not worried about making a mistake, and I want to play my butt off. How do you balance that as a new coach, like going full speed while also being technically? Right? That's practice. That's individual. That's the way you watch film. That's the way you install. And again, they go out there and they see it. They do it and they say, "Oh, I see why." You know, so it's always the why behind it. I say, "Oh, why I came underneath because I saw this." Okay, good. I'm glad. You know, it's just when you ask them the question, "Why did you do that?" They're like, "Uh, I don't know." I don't know. That's where you have the issue, right? That's where you probably didn't make the play, but you're like, hey, why'd you do that? Coach, I saw him do this, I saw the ball here, so I went over there. Gotcha, I can move with that. Okay, Co Coach Wolf talked yesterday about the, the hungriness, the hunger that he's seen in a lot of the players in camp. So there's they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. With your, you've got a lot of those guys on defense that really at every level there's, there's better players. How do you see that? 
playing out? And what, do you, what do you see as far as like the attitude of those guys like you and Nick and Luke Scott? Yeah, you know, I, I hear it. You know, I hear it on the sideline when I'm speaking to some or I'm watching a play, and I can hear the back, hey, watch this ball, hey, this play, hey, you're supposed to be over there. They're lining themselves up, and you need that with the way we're practicing, and because you don't have all the coaches in one area, you have all the coaches spread out, right? Coaches trusting everybody, we're all trusting everybody to do their job. So it's a reinforcement from the players, and the first people you hear, Luke, Bullock. Reimer in the back end, yelling that guy Blaze back there, coaching, coaching the guys as well, and that's that's total team buying right there, which is going to help them along with it. Coach, you you mentioned back in spring that you wanted to install a lot, you wanted to throw a lot out of the way. In terms of install, where are you at? That's where we're going. We're throwing a lot out of it. Right? I mean, coach made the point. This is this is what this is what it's about. Like right? practice is everything, games are everything. So. We're throwing a lot at them, especially early on, so that way we can see what they're absorbing. It's always, it, I'd rather cut it back than not have it enough. You know I mean? So right now, again, it's full installs for the first couple of days, then we'll see where they're at, and then reassess, and then we'll be a roommate coach. What? Do you get a roommate in the dorms? I, I'm not going I'm not gonna say nothing right now about that, man. Yeah, that's, still up, that's still up for debate. I'm, not, I'm always going in there thinking, and I'm looking at that other bed. Okay, nobody, nobody's in there. Nobody was in there yesterday. So I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, no, you never know. You never know. Yeah. All good. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you.